what's going on guys so I'm here I need to do a uh, service on my vehicle which is a 2005 Dodge Durango what I need to do is uh, exchange the fan clutch on it where I've been having issues where I'm driving up into the mountains and it, it heats up when my AC is on or when I'm carrying the trailer um, it'll heat up it doesn't heat up much but it kind of sucks because you know I don't want to pay for a new engine if it does overheat so I end up having to turn on the heater so that I could lower that temperature down and what it's doing is it's making everybody uncomfortable inside of the vehicle and as you all know when your wife gets upset then you have to do something about it so here's the new uh, fan clutch and for here's the part number if you guys have a 2005 Dodge Durango um, I'm also going to be adding some AC Pro because just see if the AC will, will get a lot cooler <clears throat> so here's the part and You guys can see very difficult to turn where the old one you could turn super easy so I'll take you guys over to the vehicle now and you can see how difficult or how easy that that one is to turn okay so you kind of see the fan in there but look at Look how easy I can move it. I can move it with super easy. Super, super easy. I mean, it's just, it's just turning so easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I thought I needed to take this off, but I don't need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this intake off and probably this shroud and we'll go from there. So I'll start with that and then I'll come back and give you guys a little update. Alright guys, so I couldn't take off the shroud because the fan is kind of in the way. So if you guys can see down there. kind of see it so right here this this pulley right here has a uh, has four holes around it so there's a special tool that you can use that will go in to that so where you hold it and you can turn this piece to bring it off so what I did is I found some bolts that are about the same size as the holes I put the bolts in, I got me a big screwdriver, a big old prying screwdriver, and I just put it up, put it in between both holes, I turned the pulley, and then I pretty much got it to where it's to where it's touching right here, and I was able to, to pry it. I don't have the correct size um, wrench for that, but I went ahead and I used the big crescent that I have. And as you guys can see, this is loose now. It took me probably longer. It took me longer to figure out what the hell I wanted to do till than it was to take off that part I mean that took me maybe one good ump to to get it loose it wasn't even really that tight 
but uh, all that I needed was that other leverage holding the, the part to where it was a uh, I could have leverage on both sides to, to get the piece off. So now that it's loose, I'm going to go ahead and take it off all the way and then I'll come back and show you guys some more. Alright guys, so here you can see, look at how easy that turns. You know, I'm, I mean, it's got leverage from up here, but if even if I grab it down here, look at how easy that is. Compared to You know, that's, that's definitely a lot tighter. And then you could also see how dirty this one was. You know, maybe that affected it. I don't know. So there's four bolts that I got to take off. So I'll go ahead and take those off now. And then uh, we'll put them back on the other piece. And we should be done. Alright, so to make this nice and fast, I'm going to go ahead and use my impact. take it off but I'm not going to use the impact to put it back on because that's cast aluminum right there and more than likely I would just strip it and crack it right away so I'm just going to use my ratchet alright I think that's tight enough gonna call it right there okay so I'm gonna go stick this back in and install it and we'll go from there all right guys so I got I got everything back on pieces in there you can still turn this one by hand but it's I mean this one it stops as soon as you as soon as you stop turning it so I mean we'll see I hope that it, it actually brings my temps down. If not, uh, the other thing that I'll have to probably do is maybe uh, change out the water pump. Um, we've already changed out the thermostat on this, so I don't think that it's that. But uh, we'll just have to go from there and then see see what see what else it might be. see in there but it's running spinning freely there's air coming out I'm just gonna wash my engine now so we'll see what happens all right all right guys, so we got the fan clutch installed. We also went ahead and put the AC Pro in. The AC Pro, I don't know if that stuff works or not, man, because I put that shit in and it feels freaking humid in there. So I don't know if it's humid in there just because I washed the engine or, or what. So I'm just gonna let the truck sit, let it freaking dry off, and then go from there. But hopefully it actually cools down a lot more. Um, but like I said, the, the job itself for doing the, the fan clutch, that was easy. The hardest part was figuring out, you know, to get my two bolts to put in, put that piece in and, you know, put some leverage on it so that I could get it out. But, uh, if you guys do it, I mean, it's, it's easy. If you're mechanically inclined, you'll get the hang of it. You'll know what to do. It's not that hard. So right now what we're doing is we're just polishing 
the chrome on this. Uh, did a little bit of polishing up here. My tank's kind of scratched up, but I mean, that's what happens when you buy a used bike. You know, I mean, you're not gonna get the best of the best. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video. Um, wanted to say thanks to all my new subscribers. Uh, we're close to hitting 50 subscribers, so that's pretty awesome. I mean, that's more than than I ever thought I would get in this amount of time. Um, so we'll keep working hard on videos for you guys. Um, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Thank you.